On Sunday, December the 17th, 1967, Harold Holt, 18th Prime Minister of Australia, disappeared while swimming at Cheviot Beach near his holiday home at Portsea in Victoria. An intensive search was organised, to no avail. He had been claimed by the sea he knew and loved. Soon after Mr. John McEwen had been sworn in as the new Prime Minister, he announced that a memorial service would be held on Friday, December the 22nd. At short notice, national leaders from around the world travelled great distances to Australia to attend the memorial service. Among the first to arrive was President Johnson of the United States of America, who had come, he said, to pay tribute to a friend. Heads of state and chief ministers from many countries made the long journey to pay their personal tribute to a man they knew well. He had visited them. He was their friend. Their countries were friends of his country. Now they came to pay their last respects. Prince Charles came, representing his mother, Queen Elizabeth, to convey her sorrow to the Australian people. And with him came Mr. Harold Wilson, Prime Minister of Britain, and Mr. Edward Heath, leader of the opposition. The memorial service to Harold Holt was held in his home city, Melbourne, in St Paul's Cathedral. Amongst the decorations put up for Christmas, his portrait looked down on the scene outside the cathedral. To the ceremony, came the heads of state and ministers who had travelled to Australia for the occasion, resident ambassadors and diplomatic representatives, and many of his fellow countrymen. Thousands, for whom there was not room in the cathedral, watched and listened in the streets outside.
I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. We are gathered here today to remember before Almighty God our late Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Harold Edward Holt, Companion of Honour, Bachelor of Law, Privy Councillor, to thank God for his life and work and to commend him into the keeping of our Heavenly Father praying that he will shed forth upon him the fullness of his mercy, light and peace. It is impossible for us to calculate now what the loss of Mr Holt will mean to Australia at this juncture in our history. He had become a highly respected and greatly honoured world figure. By his visits to many countries, he has been perhaps the best ambassador Australia has ever had. We mourn today for a man who loved Australia, who lived for Australia, who gave his best for Australia. On Friday, December the 22nd, 1967, Australians mourned the loss of a leader who had devoted his great qualities as a statesman and as a man to the service of Australia and had presented a new image of his country to the world. <laughs> 